Hi, I wanted to give a quick breakdown for using a gobo projector for light activism, uh, or some people call it like projection bombing. These are, for one, uh, battery powered, so you can pretty much just use the magnet that's on the bottom and put it on like a light post or something like that and use these two knobs to adjust the zoom and focus. Um, the cool thing about them is because they're 10 watt LEDs, you can actually just print using a regular printer, household printer, or even like a laser printer, your own gobos. Typically gobos are made out of metal, but because this is such a low watt LED, uh, the pros and cons to it are, um, obviously the cons are it's a little bit more dim than some other gobo projectors, but the pros are you can print your own designs in just a few minutes with some basic templates. And I tend to print them up in sheets at a time. This is like transparency film that people used to use whenever they would uh, be in like a classroom if you wanted to write on them. Is if I'm going to put it on a timer like this to set it to a schedule or this one's a Wi-Fi, I'll actually pull out the battery from these. Uh, and that way, whenever it's plugged in directly to the back and the power is left on, the second the outlet sends power to the projector, the projector turns on, and the second the outlet turns off, the projector turns off. To do that, and you're just going to have to take my word for it, because the one that I like to pull apart, I have recently loaned to someone, you just have to remove these four screws, and there are long screws that go all the way through it. It'll loosen up, and this frame will separate, um, and this rail will stay intact. You can also loosen this up if you want to take the rail out. And then from there, the battery pretty much sits like this. And when you get inside, you'll just see the connector and just be delicate with it and then plug it. Um, it'll probably eliminate some surge protection that you would get with the battery. Uh, I'm not sure how the electronics are actually arranged in this, but if you throw it on a surge protector, I haven't had any problems with it yet. And to load them, there's this little metal wire that you're supposed to pinch together, but because these are um, like just a simple plastic, all you have to do is wedge it in there. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, if people are interested, I can just print some of these up and send them out for free. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope, I hope this helps.